of Sparg Nation, Rare Sparg here, and welcome to another episode of Spark at the Park, episode 62, starting the game off with a tough layup right there. But in this episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about game two of the NBA Finals. Man, what a game, and I am thoroughly impressed with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hold on. You guys already know what that music means right there with that beautiful alley-oop. But like I was saying, in game two of the NBA playoffs, Della Badova, LeBron James carrying their team to a victory over the Golden State Warriors in Oracle Arena. What a game. Man, it just really shows as we get our first flamethrower of the game right there. But it just really shows... That this Cavs may be for real. These Cavs may be able to battle and actually win this series. Now, we'll have to see if that's the case. And, I mean, I'm going to still hold my prediction of Warriors in six right now. But, you know, this really shows that they do have a shot at this. We'll have to see if they can continue to battle. It really comes down to if they can keep Steph Curry. Hold on. Woo, what a dunk there. By doing things. He's definitely doing things on the court right there. But like I was saying, it really depends on if they can continue to lock down Steph Curry. Hold on another time. Music. Alley you to St. Sword lobbing it up there with the special delivery right there. But as I was saying, Steph Curry did not shoot well in game two. So that is definitely an anomaly. And so I, I do foresee the Cavs having a little bit more trouble in game three. Even though they will be home. So I, I I have to favor them. At least in their first final game at home. You know maybe game four they'll probably lose. But like I said Warriors in six. So I could see the Warriors beating the Cavs game four. Tying up the series 2-2. Two -two after the Cavs go up in game three. And then the Warriors sweep from there. So I could see that happening. We'll have to see if these Cavs really have it in them to battle. With the inconsistency of J.R. Smith being the number two option for the Cavaliers right now. You really don't know what's going to happen with them. And like I said, if Del Badova can keep helping out his team with the tremendous defensive effort on Steph Curry. Who knows? They may really have a shot at this. I didn't really have much faith in them in my last episode yesterday of Spark at the Park. But you never know what could happen. So I really would like to know what you guys think of the series so far and really of game two. Do you guys think this is a sign of more things to come for the Cavs and they'll be able to battle despite being down Kyrie and Kevin Love? Or do you think this is it? Their shot is over. They really don't have a shot at winning this NBA Finals. We'll have to see. But I really want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below. Doing things. Knocking down the three right there. Just going to jump into the game commentary at the end of this right here. Saint Sword. Being very sneaky, getting the inbound steal, and another inbound steal. This time, taking his time, he kicks it out to doing things, who gets locked up by his defender. And this is my moment, trying to get in there, going in with the slam, getting a nice victory here at Spark at the Park. Our third in a row. I apologize, my phone just went off. But, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think of the finals game, too. And I'd love to hear your feedback. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Rare Spark, out. Yeah.